let's take a look at economic coordination. Underlying all government activity to influence the private economy is the public acceptance or legitimacy in principle of that activity. Central economic coordination has come to mean a dominant role for the president both in determining the existence of crisis conditions and in directing governmental responses. Even with all the powers at the president's disposal, he or she lacks the tools to manage its performance in all but the most indirect ways. The economic impact of continuing budget deficits raises the fear that deficits, if left unchecked, will trigger new cycles of inflation and recession. Budget surpluses occur when government brings in more revenue than it spends. Gross national product, or GNP, is the sum of goods and services produced by all Americans, whether they are located around the world during any given period of time, typically a year. As unemployment increases, government spending on countercycle measures will also rise as revenues from sales and income tax usually decrease. Higher levels of structural unemployment resulting from permanent loss of jobs or outsourcing in certain sectors of the global economy are more difficult to deal with. Regardless of how this problem is addressed, the rules of the game in coping with budget deficits have changed within the context of overall economic and fiscal policy. We now have a mixed public and private economy in which both sectors overlap considerably. At the same time, the problems confronting government have changed, making economic coordination and stimulation more difficult. 